All right, you guys, welcome in. Uh, welcome back, actually. I'm here with the champ champ. Sheesh. Arnold, NY Pro. You already know the name. Hey. I have BB Pro, Mr. <laughs> e Banks. What's good? I'm going to let him make his own introduction. Yeah, man. Welcome, How bro. Feeling? Welcome, welcome. I appreciate you having you on. You drove all the way up here from Fresno, right? Good old Fresno, California, man. The 559, man. It's, it's, we putting it on the map for hey, sure. They proud of you, huh? They better be. <laughs> they better be, man. I'm, I'm out here busting my ass for them, man. And it's just to bring the the demographic, man, the 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 whole vibe of bodybuilding to, to Fresno. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. that's a, another reason why I wanted to do a seminar. So I got Eurition and all of them coming I out. I saw for, that. I saw for that. For a one. seminar, man, because, again, Fresno, <laughs> it, we get a bad rap, you know what I mean? Yeah. So at the end of the day, like, Fresno is home. Fresno will always be home, you know what I mean? But I'm just trying to bring and build more opportunities for influencers, bodybuilders, just people in general for the, for the city, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm excited about everything that I got going on this year. You guys get a lot of people to go out there? Actually, actually yeah, man. And, and here's the thing, like, people think Fresno is small, but, but it's really not. We're the sixth biggest city in California. Oh, shit. And that's with... Combining with the surrounding cities that are so close, bro, there's probably like 1.3 million people just in the area. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> yeah, it's small because we have two nightclubs. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? We have one, like, big chain gym, you know, so it, it's not it's not a lot of things to do. Yeah. But it's just now especially with the hobby of bodybuilding i want to i want to bring that to light man for these fresno people because there's so much you can do as as a bodybuilder even looking into my story bro they was like man you got to go to la you got to go to vegas you got to you got to get your name out there to, to be a top bodybuilder <laughs> no uh, you're like uh nope <laughs> hey hey teacher right here <laughs> i did it you see what i'm saying so it's not about moving. It's just making the best of your, the best opportunity for you. Do you feel like that's kind of helped you? Cause you don't have a lot of distractions. You have two nightclubs. I mean, if you're in LA, bro, there's like, there's a, you get something to do every single Facts. night, you know? Facts. And you know, uh, it's really easy to get distracted in LA, Las Vegas, Miami. So you think being in Fresno kind of, kind of helps out a little bit. Yeah, I know. Big time. <laughs> Big time, man. And, and, and what's crazy, like what's crazy about that is I talk to like my sponsors. I talk to like people in the industry. They're like, where are you from again? I said, Fresno. It's like, what's in Fresno? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> it was <laughs> like, well, that's good for you. And I said, yeah, it's absolutely great for me because one, I don't have distractions. And two, I'm now the, s as, okay. So in Fresno, we have, Probably, it's probably five IFBB pros. You could literally count them on your hand. That's it. That's insane. That's it. With the six being Flex Wheeler, but he moved to Vegas. <laughs> he moved out you of You see it. what I mean? So I think I run into an IFBB pro like every day at the gym. You, you it's insane. You don't huh? get that in Fresno. No, nah, no, nah, it's insane. So that's why, I, like I, like you said, it, it, it is a plus because yeah. there is no distractions. I'm, I'm zoned in. I don't have to go create content with this guy to to make Instagram look like this. None of that, man. I just focus on me. I do me and I talk my shit and keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep get moving. Man. Let's get on that talking your shit. I mean, for me, I was excited to have you on because for one, I mean, you're charismatic as fuck. So I knew, this, I knew this would be a fact. <laughs> I know this would be an easy one, but um, I jump on your live a lot. And every time you're on your live, you, I'm talking you're shit. talking some shit. You, I mean, respectfully, right? but you're doing some wild shit. But were you always like, the, has this always been like your personality or just because you're on top right now, you feel like I'm going to let everyone know? No, man. And, and I like to tell this to people. E-Banks has been E-Banks before bodybuilding. You see what I'm saying? Like we was talking about it this earlier. Like I was a class clown. I was always, I was always making people laugh. I was always super energetic. And then what is so a plus to this, I was a three sport athlete. So that competitiveness, that talking shit, <laughs> bringing energy, it all just boom. Okay, now it's bodybuilding. Yeah. So with that, man, it's just like I've always, I've always been E-Banks. And I tell people bodybuilding can never say they made E-Banks. 
You see what I'm saying? There's so many guys in this industry that were picked on or whatever the case may be, and then they, boom, they hop on some gear, and they they miss your super dude. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean, man? No, man. It's it's it's. I've been like this. I've been like this, and I'm going to stay like this. That's funny because that's like everybody's story. It's like, how'd you get into fitness? Uh, you know, I was really skinny. I was overweight. I was picked on. Then, right. Yeah, you're like, nah, I just, I said, fuck. I mean, it's funny because uh, we'll talk about it. Like, talking off camera, you were like, I was three sport. You were into fashion. Facts. Someone had to talk you into doing the show, right? Yeah, let's let's hit on that. Yeah, yeah please. <laughs> because I, I've told this story a couple times, and people, they, they really can't grasp, like, what what i just told them just kind of like how you had that yeah. reaction you know i i've um i've been a three sport athlete i've i've done all done it all went went to play football in college in track and um literally man came back home started working started at at buckle um which is like a clothing store and um from there hopped into being a fashion stylist but that all had to stop because I got out of shape. <laughs> and and um, so after stopping that, found out I was having a daughter, figured out my why. Okay, get back into it. Start going to the gym. Literally turn, trans, transformated. Like my body transformated so like ridiculous. Like, yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. So literally I, I would go to this gym every day there was this this short lady her name is terry reeves she knows who she is <laughs> shout out to her <laughs> and literally every day for a full year aaron you're gonna compete aaron i need you to compete your physique looks crazy aaron you're gonna compete i told her no for <laughs> for a whole year i told her no because my my main thing was i'm not getting on stage in no underwear right like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just i just was not that was not gonna happen yeah so one day she came and she was like you know you can wear board shorts right i said you lying she was like no look so i went and looked at looked up man's physique because i didn't know what Men's physique was. That's crazy. And this was two and a half years ago. That's crazy. <laughs> two and a half years ago. <laughs> and she was like, this is this is men's physique. I think you can totally do it. Get a coach. I think that same week I got, I got a coach. And literally, it, I gave in. And like I said, I, this, this is, this, all of this, the success, this bodybuilding career, it all fell in my lap, man, just by somebody kept pursuing um their confident not their confidence but their yeah no they had confidence they, in well, they had yeah. belief in me yeah. and, and was confident that i can do it you know what i mean so um me taking that forward was was like a blessing and actually giving in to it so um literally got begged for a year did my first show fresno classic took first place and true novice didn't do anything else they were the judges were like you're not gonna do open that's insane hey <laughs> hey i feel bad for whoever had to do true novice with you they're looking in the right now they're probably like hey you know who i did my first show against true novice was fucking ebay bro I, <laughs> hey i get those messages hey bro you remember me nah yes, I do, do you remember, you remember them yeah that's bro crazy. and that's one thing about me man i I'm, I'm not that type of person who who gets some success and kind of forget everybody you Facts. know what i mean I'm, I'm 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 real a real genuine person and i really care about people you know what i mean and and kids are a, another like sweet spot for me if i'm seeing a kid i'm i'm definitely taking a picture with them you right, know what i'm right. saying so it's man i'm i'm super genuine um but yeah man it's it, this journey is it set out to be a great one. So when you first started doing shows, I mean, obviously people were probably like, hey, it's going to be hard. Don't worry about it. And you won your first one where you're like, oh, this is this is my shit right here. Or were you kind of like, I'm going to stop here. Like what made you keep on pursuing is the fact that you kept on winning. Yeah, man. So <laughs> let me put this gum out because I'm about to swallow it. But man, so. The coach at the time that I had, he, he was kind of like my hype man, too. <laughs> he was like my hype man, too. So as I'm doing these shows, he was like, man, Aaron, like, you can really do this. Like, you're going to do really good. And I'm like, ah, okay. Right. Because, again, coming from an athlete, I hate when people hype me up, pump me up. I don't need to be pumped up. I pump myself up. Yeah. I'm a self-motivator. <laughs> so he was just super hyped. And he was like, man, look at these guys. I think he showed me uh, the 2018 Miss Physique Olympia. I was like, 
them dudes are weak. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's just me as an amateur. I'm Who like, was that in 2018? That was Brandon. That was Brandon? Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm like, them dudes is weak. And it's, and at that time, I like my back was detailed. I can show you a picture, bro. You'd be like, damn, that's a that's an NPC guy's back? Bro, it was stupid. So going into like my first shows and then I did my second show, then I got qualified for uh, nationals, went to nationals. And bro, I felt felt like I was gonna win it. I got second place, still got my pro card, but that that's also a staple too, man, is I got second. And I'm, now I'm second in the world, Arnold Classic champion, Boston pro champion, you know what I mean? So um, going into it, I'm like, man, these dudes are, these dudes are so-so. I, I know I'm going to be at the top soon. Yeah, so you always had that belief. In yeah, yourself. 100%. And that, that's been there all my life and everything from sports to fashion to management to everything. So I've always been 1,000% confident in myself. That's crazy that you just literally fell into the sport. Facts. Yeah. Facts. So you did one national show, turned pro. Bro, I turned pro in four months. Four months. <laughs> Damn. Four months, man. And it, I mean, that's not the fastest. Of course, I've seen somebody, oh, yeah. some guys do it faster than I, I did. But four months is was fast for someone who didn't know nothing about yeah. the sport of Bobby. But right. People, bro, I would get... Like as even st still to this day, like people will ask me, "Oh, do you know who such and such is?" I'm like, "No, that's crazy." Because <laughs> I don't, I didn't, I don't know. I never followed the sport, but now I follow it, and now I've, I've made the connections that I need to make, and I'm, I'm doing pretty damn good for myself in this sport, man. And oh, I, I, I would say it. you're doing a lot better than new boy. <laughs> kind of okay. You're doing really well for yourself. Now that you're in the industry, is the industry what you thought it would be? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. And I wish it was, I wish, well, here's the deal. <clears throat> the industry is what I think it is or thought it was going to be. But the division I'm in, I didn't think it would be like this. How so? Bro. <laughs> they can't stand me. They can hate me. Who is the, you think every top guy right now just is like. Bro, they can't stand me. All of them. Bro. You can go down a list. I, I probably the only one that I really mess with, man, is is probably Chiron because oh, that's the that's the homie right cause, there. Because me and Chiron, we on the same squad from from Young LA to Chula Wear to to Global. Global. So we all we we connected, and you know what I mean. And at the end of the day, I I just think that like the guys in this industry don't really like that I've I'm, my success is happening so fast, you know. Um, but at the end of the day. God has his timing. You can't stop what God already got in play. Some of these guys like to hate, like to throw shots and do what they do on Instagram. I'm going to do mine respectfully, <laughs> you know, but um, some some of these guys just need to be realistic, I think. Some of them are not, you know. Um, some of them have been in this industry for 10 plus years. It's time to retire. You know what I mean? So, so, so kind of talking on that, what do you think about, and again, we don't have to go into detail unless you want to, about some of these guys that are coming back. Uh, Sadiq. Sadiq, he won NY. Didn't he win the New York Pro, right? Sadiq yeah. won the New York Pro. Sadiq, here's the deal. Sadiq has a, like, one of the most amazing front shots. Crazy front. Like, when I saw him at the New York Pro, I said, boy, look, <laughs> that boy got a front shot, you know? And, and, and it's now this, this sport is, is really elevated. And I would say 90, 95% of these guys who have great fronts don't have good backs. There's probably about a good 5% of us. And then that 5%, I would say my, that 1% that myself has a great back. Everybody else has a decent back. You see what I'm saying? Right. So when you put it all together, again, with, with Sadiq, if he – Builds a crazy back for this O, he'll be in the mix. He'll definitely be in the mix. Well, I think he'll be in the mix regardless. Because he's Sadiq? Because he's Sadiq. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Sadiq legend. and Sadiq, you Sadiq. know what I mean? And yeah. Sadiq brings that that crazy conditioning that a lot of guys can't can't get. I mean, the muscle maturity for being in this industry for so long, it, it's kind of unmatched. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's also a plus with some of these guys being in the industry because they have more muscle maturity and, and whatever the case may be. But again 
with people coming back, man. You got Pavin coming back. He just competed, got second place. Oh, shout shout out Ariel. Ariel Ariel cuts as he's known on IG. He's literally taking every fucking show. He's the goat, man. He's the, guy. He's the goat. <laughs> and we'll get into him too. We got we got. You said Jeremy Pavin. Jeremy Pavin second. second. Second to Nick. He's um, Jeremy. I, I I haven't I haven't competed against Jeremy because Jeremy took took a year off of the the O last year. Um, but he he has a pretty pretty dope look. It's just I don't I think. I don't know. I think he's too bubbly. Like, I think he's too bubbly. So the thing is, I know he was trying to make that transition to classic, but I just, I, I, don't, I don't know what, what the game plan is for Jeremy, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, again, his physique is, is, is a great physique. You know, you can't, you can't knock him for that. He has a great taper. He does. His waist is very tight. Insane. And his front shot is, is, is dope. But and I think he was saying a little bit of something on his Instagram about like the posing. I think he, you know, ah, uh, yeah, you get rusty posing, bro. Like I'm rusty posing, but I just I, like, yeah, I, know, I was right? like, bro, you're like everyone tries to emulate. <laughs> Every time I go to a local show, everyone's doing the the fucking hands down flex and try stuff. I go, God. Hey, ah. So it, it, you get when you take so much time off, man, and you kind of just trying to live a normal life. You you get rusty. I mean. Mm -hmm. I get rusty, but I, I, I tend to start practicing now. Like now, oh, we're practicing every day. Yeah, I saw you at the gym right now. You were hitting some poses yeah. in between your sets you, and stuff. You have to, man, because you get rusty. Like I said, there's you it, just because you pose every day or you went through the Olympia, you just won this show, you have to continue to perfect your craft. You get rusty. That's just like, oh, go take five months off of, of, of foot drills in football. It's fact. <laughs> You go hit the ladder right now. I guarantee you're gonna mess up that whole ladder right. after not being on it for five months. You see what I'm saying? So, again, Jeremy Jeremy looks good. It's just I just think he just needs to continue to to do what Jeremy does because again, he is a top Olympian. Like, yeah, you can't take that away from him at all. But I just like I said, I just don't know his game plan as of going forward. Um, I'm well, also I, I'm also excited about. Um, what Ryan Terry brings this year because he's back. Ryan Terry, he, did he take last year off? He took, yeah, he took last year off. He wanted to grow a bit, and uh, I actually seen him at the Boston Pro, and we were he looks it crazy. Up. His front, I think his front. Talking about fronts, his he front. has the best front I've ever seen in yeah. men's physique. And, uh, I've, and yeah. I told this to Ryan's face. I said, "Bro, you've been the face of men's physique forever. Like, you are the poster child for men's physique." Like one, you're a pretty boy. Yeah. Two, your your front shot is just phenomenal. Like his abs are crazy, insane. Yeah. Like that right there is an ideal set of abs. Right. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so, yeah. I used to before I even got became pro. That that guy was one of the guys that I I looked up to because his front shot was just crazy. Yeah, he wasn't the biggest, nor he was his back was the best. But when I wanted to see a front, like it was Ryan Terry's for for a fact. Um, but jumping into everybody else, who else was coming back? Uh, I know uh, <laughs> Buendia wants to make a comeback in. Man. Like two, two years, I know I had him on the podcast. He's talking about 20. <laughs> so let me get, let me get my words down, bro. He was talking about 2023. Um, he wants to come back. And I mean, he's made strides from where he was to now. Like, I think he looks, I think he looks good. Man, let me give you my take. <laughs> let me give you my take. Okay. Jeremy, he's had his time, you know. You expect the little, what do you have, four or three? Four. He has uh, four, he wants to go for his fifth. Okay, that's not happening. <laughs> so, <laughs> he has his four, man, grow your business, do do what you do. But this, like I tell people, man, this, this division has evolved tremendously. Like, I take myself out of the, the situation. Like I told you at the gym, I take myself out of the situation. If Jeremy was to go to the O this year, it would never happen because these guys are bigger and better and more conditioned. Their stage presence is far beyond. When did it start? 2013? Shit, I think it was like 13. Bro. And those were like guys, legit boards, like long ass yeah, board shorts. Yeah, so like that's Steve the thing, Cook. Like, I know he, he was talking about him and Brandon going battling in that 2013. You heard that clip too? Yeah, everyone's and been like. And look. Check this out. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. And Brandon ain't getting four. <laughs> so at the end of the day, Jeremy, if you want to come back, come back this year. 
You don't have to wait till 2023. You, all you got to do is call Dan Solomon or JM and say, look, I want my name on the list. I'm going to do the Olympia. I didn't know. Is it like that? Bro, he's already a Mr. O. So, so like if you're a Mr. O, no shit. Who came back? Bro, uh, you're a Mr. O. You right. always you can, come can, back, you can huh? always, you don't got to qualify. You don't have to do nothing, right. but show up. No, but you know, even talking to him, I think he's realistic. Yeah. And talking to him, he two years off is what he wants to grow into it and kind of see. But even talking to you, man, we we got to nationals and these guys are fucking They're big. ridiculous. So I feel like every year, like every you're year trying to catch something, evolve. but these guys just get bigger and wider and back. And here's crazy. the deal. The only thing that, the thing with Jeremy is, he's only going to chase his best, right? His best was this last 2017. Yeah. Bro, that's that's over. You you can't get you can't go back to that. You can't. Because hi, Aaron Banks is in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> that's just I'm gonna be like real. To I'm be probably real, excited for him to come back. I'm not to gonna be lie. Real, that. really, like really realistic. Yeah. If you put Jeremy on the stage of 2022 Olympia versus Aaron Banks. I'm gonna destroy him. Oh, but I mean the the errors are different though. <laughs> yes. Errors, I mean if you take if you <laughs> but take look, he coming back, right? Yeah, he coming back. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, he coming back. So it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be close. Respectfully, he got four. It's done. So, Brandon got three. It's, it's done. done. <laughs> this is my error. It's the E-Banks era. I mean, it's and cut. Shout out to cuts. Hey, it's cuts era. Like, hey, this is really Ariel's era. <laughs> like, I mean, you guys know my cuts. That boy just swept nationals. I mean, the team. And I, I actually saw that you, you guys, like, he kind of consults with you now a little bit, right? Like, he actually, yeah, you know, yeah. We work as a team, man. So m most of his athletes um, are my posing clients, you know. And oh wow, okay, yeah. So that's that's super fun, and just for him to. To kind of bring me in and kind of just even grow my posing business is 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 phenomenal. You know, he's um, he's been a mentor, a friend. You know, everything down the board. So for him to do that for me is was was big. But yeah, man, he had five five men's physique guys turn pro, two in classic, and bro, he took the overall and the men's physique overall. Yeah, there's people hating on him too. It's crazy bro. to me. Because if, you if you've ever met Ariel or if you guys follow Cuts, the most like, humblest guy. Not ever. only humble, he could give a, a fuck about content. He posts whatever the fuck he wants. He wants. If you've ever been coached by him, you could attest to getting the voice messages. Absolutely. Uh, uh, <laughs> him saying, you look okay, continue the plan. He never really gasses you up too much. And he's going to tell you the never. truth, right? And I think that's good for you because you came from a sports background. So you're like, I don't want to be sugarcoated. At all. Uh, especially when you're up there, bro. The worst thing you can do is have someone hype you up and not feel you're ready then put you on a fucking stage like that. <laughs> bro. It, 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 was funny. it was funny that you say that because like I started with Ariel... October, no, September of 2020, right? I didn't get a damn compliment until two weeks going into my <laughs> first show. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> and that was, I think, in April. I'm like, he getting these check-ins. He ain't saying nothing. So I am i don't know if I'm, if I think I'm on track. I don't know. You right? Know? He, yeah, he, yeah. Like, man, just keep doing what you're doing. Like yeah, you said, yeah. like. Follow the plan. Man, and the, <laughs> when my body, my body, when my body started to form, he was like, okay, we're in the game. So yeah. that's when he started giving me a little bit more. And then I went second in my my pro debut. He was like, oh, this guy. We got one. We, I think we got, we, we in there, E. So we really went into a, a, a zone of like, let's see who, how we stand up against everybody. So that year, I mean, my first year was boom, was five shows back to back. Houston, Salt Lake. Pittsburgh, New York, and then the O. So I think I think what really snapped them into like, oh, I think I got an Olympian was had to be the Pittsburgh show. When yes. I placed third against Kyron and Ray. And uh he was like, Okay, yeah. We good. <laughs> you can stand with these guys because yeah. at the end of the day, you could have beat those guys. And everybody else thought I won that show too. So um, I thought I won every show I did this year. That, that year, to be honest, <laughs> if they ask you, you won every single. I won thing. every show, man. I should have been a five-time uh, IFBB Pro winner this, this that that past year. But um, 
Yeah, man, going into the New York Pro, um, I, I won that show. Again, that Steve Weinberger show. Shout out to Steve for holding the phenomenal that's show. A, that's one of the most prestigious. I mean, there's a couple. Bro, right? that it, show is NY big. Pro, it's the Arnold, it's the Olympia. Like, right. like, even if you don't win the Olympia, if you win one of those, you're still. Bro, you, you you're have, guy. yeah, you yeah. have like a solidification to your name when, when you're in this division, when you win those type of shows. And bro, like, I've won nothing but tier one shows. Facts. Boston. That's a Boston. That's Boston. Arnold. The New York Pro. The O is the only one I need. And you've only been doing this for two years? <laughs> this is my second year, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> my first year, I went second. Um, going into my, my second year, won the Arnold. Um, two weeks later, I won the Boston Pro. So why did you do Was that part of your guys' plan? I mean, you already got qualified. Ariel's like, let's just keep it going. Or what was the thought process of that? I thought well, that Well, see, too. here's the deal. Like, I was already qualified from last year. So right, top yeah. three, top three from the O come back. Um, my main thing, bro, I wanted to run a gauntlet because everybody started running their mouth. Yeah. You know, because everybody, oh, he's talking like this or he's talking shit to me or blah, blah. Man, at the end of the day, I'm a grown man. You're a grown man. If you feel some type of way, you're insecure. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You're a grown man worrying about Aaron Banks' Instagram or what he's saying on his Instagram. You worry about yourself. You put your work in. You do what you do. You ain't got to say nothing to me or about me, but just do you. But you know me as I'm confident in myself and I talk the way I talk and I do, I walk, I walk the way I walk too. You see what I'm saying? So um, I was like, forget it, man. Let's run the gauntlet. Let's run it. Let's, let's literally do every first like five shows straight up. He was like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we go to the Arnold, we win that. And we already had said we we're going to the Boston Pro. I told them I was, I was coming, I confirmed it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. So I won that, I wasn't gonna do it, but I won the Arnold, went to Boston and destroyed everybody, literally. It was, yeah, no, it, yes. wasn't, it was not close, Yeah, which is the same thing that's gonna happen this year though. Ooh. It won't be close, it won't be close. So you're gonna have a lot, I mean, especially with the, and I always go back to the Jeremy episode because we had a lot of people that like message and they were competitors, they listened right. to it. So like you got second place last year. Does, what do you think you need to improve on? I mean, coming into this year? Nothing. Nothing, you just have to show up? I've, I've improved everything that they wanted me to. That's one thing, bro, that's, that's why I stay, I stay on my feedback. I stay talking to Tyler. I stay talking to Steve. I stay talk, talking to Sandy, the tamers, the tamers to the TKs. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I keep the I, godfathers of the, of the, right. Sport. I keep, I keep their knowledge and what they, what they're giving back and what they're saying to me. Really. I keep it close to heart. Right. So when after the Arnold Tyler was like, this is a great look, but I think you guys are chasing the fullness a little bit. Which we were, we were, we were big. <laughs> yeah, you were Arnold. big. We were big at the Arnold. So Tyler was like, "If you're doing a, if you're doing a Boston show, just try to, try to bring that conditioning that you brought to the Olympia." <laughs> Boy, <laughs> I did that. It was a wrap. And ever since then, every time I talked to Tyler or Steve or anybody, I said, "Give me some feedback that I need to go into this this Olympia." Aaron, you don't need to do anything. That's just, crazy. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. And we'll see you in December. And I, I saw one on one of your lives, you were saying that Ariel doesn't want you doing back anymore. Or like, was it rack pulls yeah. or what was it? Yeah, man. So here's, <laughs> here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's Ariel's the deal. like, slow the fuck down. Hey, the, the, the back is, um, it's, it's, it's a deadly weapon. We've talked about it. Go it's, ahead. It's a, it's a deadly weapon. And um, I think we've added, we've even added more to, to the package um, from Boston and even from this past Olympia. So... He was like, man, we got, we, he really, like, after you saw that comment, yeah, I was in the gym the next week, I was about to hit back, and I actually hit back and took some more pictures. He, he called me, he said, E, like, uh, we got to pull back on back. I said, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, you know, that's my bread and butter. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, uh, well, we don't want to get too big back there, which, I mean, we can't. Here's the deal. You can't get too big in the back, of course, without adding a crazy amount of size. Yeah. So the thing is, he was like, you got to do one working set. It That's it. Like one working set, Jeez. nothing else. Like you can do a couple warm ups, one working set. 
it went from work <laughs> it went from <laughs> one working set right to again me posting my back again yeah he said e it's over yeah we, we are not training back right now i gave you this much and you <laughs> fucked it up and, and you and, kept and it bro, growing <laughs> and it's just bro it's 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 crazy because of the amount of food that we're eating right now yeah it's i was gonna ridiculous. ask you about that like how, like how many weeks out are you from olympia right now so right now we'd be 19 weeks out okay. um tomorrow okay and um the thing is bro we're eating about four thousand calories a day right now yeah so we're we're feeding the body, but the body is burning through it. You know what I mean. That's so. one thing about Eric, though. He feed he he'll feed you. He needs it. He's a big believer in you getting that metabolism going. Yeah, uh -huh. bro. He's he makes sure the body stays sensitive. Yep. So when he does pull it, it instantly you can instantly lose the lose that weight. So going into this this nineteen week prep, um, we're gonna lose we're gonna lose fifteen pounds. We're gonna try to lose a pound a week, and we'll be ready uh, about four, four or five weeks early. So, so what kind of what kind of a person are you when you get closer to the show? Are you the kind that kind of like travels still? Are you you isolate yourself? Because I mean, I've met a couple pros, and I have a couple. You know, my gym's a bodybuilding right, gym, absolutely. so I have some people that literally shut it down. Like meaning like gatherings, family events, five weeks out. How are how are you with it, <laughs> bro? My well, first of all, my family already know what it is. <laughs> we stop all like, and and it's my family knows. I mean, it's all love with me and my family, man. They 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 support me one hundred percent. I probably have one of the best support systems out there, you know. Um, but Aaron Banks shuts it down. Um, this is kind of like my last hoorah of a travel, uh, which. It's like a it's a day trip, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. But um, the only ne the other next trips I have is the the road to the Arnold. I mean the road to the Arnold, the road to Olympia um, with JM out in Pittsburgh, and then uh, I'll probably fly from there to Steve's gym so he can see me, and then I'm back at the crib. But that'll probably be maybe ten weeks, eight weeks out. Nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing coming up, man, because. Family gatherings, man. I've I've missed birthdays, Thanksgivings. You know what I mean. I, I'm 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 real serious about this, mm -hmm. man. I don't I don't I don't. Yeah, some people like to see me joke around, but I'm dead ass serious when I'm in prep. Yep. You know what I mean. Yeah, I'll, I'll still shoot the shit and talk some shit on on Instagram and do what I do, but bro, I'm 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 locked in. Like, oh no, it's, yeah, it's, I can it's, see it's it. a whole nother level of of focusness and just hunger because. To be so damn close last year, we're gonna make it so damn not close when I win this year. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, oh yeah, undeniable. Because it's it's it. I want to make it to a point where, and I've said this. I've also said this before. Like my main goal for this year is for them to call the first call out, then put me in the center. Steve Weinberger goes, Aaron, go ahead and step back in line. Shh. Now judge the rest of them. That's my goal. I remember back in the day, I went to a, an Olympia, and this is when Ronnie came on stage at like 300 and something pounds. <laughs> I remember he that came dude. on stage, and everyone's like, oh, he fucking won, because he's conditioned. Bro, they literally, like, it was just going it, through it the motions. Just, it was just going through the motions, yeah. Right. Let, let's get this. It Bro, was crazy. I want you to also, when you, whenever you get some time, go listen to that, that Phil Heath um, interview he just did with those NFL players. I forget what, the, what it's called, but... I'll send you the link, but it's a very, very similar mindset, very similar mentality that me and Phil have, and especially coming from the sports background. He was a basketball, basketball player. player yep. I was a football player, you know what I mean? He talked his shit, but he also backed his shit up. Yeah, you no, know I, I, mean? I feel Heath was one of the dudes that was the most hated by everybody. And I think that's, I'm, I'm going down very that same much path. So. Yeah, yeah. That same path, and you know, at the end of the day, we can't give a shit. Like, yeah, we can't. We got one goal: is to get that goal. That's it. So everybody else don't matter. Perfect scenario: you win the Olympia. Do you have a number in your head? How many you trying to win? You just trying to just ride this wave and 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 let's see where we go. You trying to beat my boy Jeremy's four? Or? I'm finna <laughs> smash that. I'm going for seven. <laughs> seven. Okay. When I turn forty-one, I'm done. I'm done. So you do have you do have a. a I got a, I got a number. We going for seven. So seven, and then that's it. That's a wrap. That's it. Ooh, so wet. Are there anyone right now that you're not even? Oh, fuck. I'm not even going to say. Go this. ahead. Go ahead. I'm answer gonna, that question. So I'm not, I can I'm not really gonna answer. Say, no, I'm not I want say you to answer. Nope. 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 Answer that question so I can go ahead and let them let them know. Is there anyone that you're worried about? Hell no. <laughs> like okay, so let's do this. Who do you think is going to get second? 
I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to be getting my trophy. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, to be honest, man, like I, I mean, I've, I've said this in an interview and uh, like, I think the, the, the same people that's going to be in the mix is going to be me, Kyron and Brandon. Facts. That's what I was thinking. You know what I mean? That that's uh -huh. the, the, the physiques that we have are, are very, very kind of, you guys are you, it's similar, but different in certain ways. Yeah. So it's, Brandon has a set of, a, a body set that's that's solid. Brandon, don't get me wrong. Brandon is a phenomenal athlete. Three time Mr. Olympia. Right, I you mean, can't take can't that from him. Nope. But I'm gonna take it this year. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but. Are <laughs> you about to make me? Go ahead, go ahead. But here's the thing. He he has a great front shot. Great front shot. His back his his back could come up a little bit more. Um, but at the end of the day, you got Chiron, who's a bubbly ass. I mean, I seen Chiron in Vegas. I'm like, boy. Bro, I saw him like, yeah, you last weekend, right? Thick. Yeah. I said, <laughs> he's just thick, you know what I mean? And when he when he when he peels down, he get, he looks really good. So that those are probably the only two guys that I, I see in the mix in that top three. Um, the Diogos and, and anybody else. I don't I don't see I don't see them coming close to what um the improvements that i've seen chiron do and i don't of course we got we got brandon who's who's been the the, the third three timer you know what i mean so um going into the show i don't i don't i don't really care who gets second i just need to hear my name and new you know so i mean if i had to place a bet it would be on you for for i mean i mean you <laughs> let me tell you you better make it high <laughs> you better make it high <laughs> Because, <laughs> cause, man, there's, there's so many people, man, that's been messaging me and reaching out and saying they've already put their money down. I'm like, man, at the end of the day, you better make sure you, you, you go high. Oh, yeah. Because what I'm bringing, this industry has not seen yet. I'm at, yeah. they, they've, seen, they've seen my stage presence. They've seen, they've seen everything from this past, oh, right? But to now have the whole complete package, which they wanted more chess. Oh, we definitely don't need that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely don't need that anymore. So here's the deal. Like to have that complete package, like really complete, not missing lower back, not missing shoulders, not missing condition, a fully complete athlete. This, this, this division has never seen. It. No, yeah. I'm excited. And, and another thing is you have arrow on your side. I mean, I man, think, that's the, I'm gonna tell you right people, now. That's the biggest blessing that that that's 100. ever happened, like to me, you know. And we, we we talk about God, we talk about our families, we talk about talk about it all with each other, man. And he's just one of those dudes, man. That it is so it's it's weird how caring and genuine he is. Like, bro, <laughs> I'm I'm, t I'm second in the world Arnold Classic champion. He treats you probably the same. He's he's one of those he's one of those guys. Funny that, story after you're done. That he literally doesn't he doesn't really treat people differently. He's one of those guys that's straightforward and if he likes you, he likes you. You know. A hundred percent. I was getting ready for a local show, fucking, you know, Anaheim, and I saw that he was in Hawaii for one. He said, Don't worry about that. And yeah. then I saw that he had a bunch of pros getting ready for pro shows. So I said in my check-ins, I said, Hey coach, don't even worry about it. Get back to me when you can. And he messaged me back, why would you say that? And I was like, no, 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 I, I know you have pros. And he no, goes, you, you don't care about that. As we said, he said, I don't care about that. Every athlete is the same to me. Facts. If you're getting ready for Olympia or you're getting ready for a local show, Facts. you're going to get my same attention. And I was like, it's my bad. <laughs> Bro, that's why I love that, man. Yeah, like, I tell people I'll that story for, all the I'll time. I go to bat for that dude, man, because he, he's just, he go to bat for you. Yeah. Every one of his athletes. We're talking about over 500, 600 athletes, you know what I mean? And he treat them the same across the board. Oh, and it's a takeover. I think this this year for all of you guys, I mean, obviously you've helped him, he's helped you, but you know, you winning these big time shows, him being the coach. Yeah. I've seen shout outs from from big time judges. Just they usually talk about the athletes, but they were talking about Ariel. And I was like, he posted it on his page. I was like, You're getting shout outs from everybody. They're yeah. like, Where are they growing these guys at? And I'm like, For <laughs> real, though. Yeah. You know? so, he, she transforms bodies. Bro. Bro, like I tell him all the time, I said, bro, you turned a, a dad bod into the number two in the world. Arnold Classic champion, bro. Yeah. He was like, dang, like, that's crazy to think about. Well, duh. <laughs> like, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, look at yeah. what you've done. I mean, it's not just myself, bro. It's, we, got a, we got a full roster of dogs. Like, 
look at what Daniel Ammons did today. Yep. Like in Tampa, the Tampa Pro. Shout out to my guy Danny Ammons, man, for 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 winning that show, man, and um, doing what you said you was gonna do. Keep rocking. That's my cuts guy. Um, again, you got Corey Morris that just won the uh, the Columbia show. You man, you got Tony, the classic physique guy. You know, it's it's so many of us that on our squad, bro. That that's that's bringing that's packing a punch, bro. Coming and, and here's the thing, it's hard to beat cuts conditioning. <laughs> if you bring if you bring that that fullness and that cuts conditioning, it's over. I mean, it's so it's so notorious that it has its own hashtag. <laughs> I was like, this man has his own, own it, hashtag. Its own hashtag. So run me through that. I always wonder too, like when you guys are in Olympia, and obviously he has how many guys competing in the same division? So last year we had nine. Do you guys all no, go to the, eight. like do the, the, the aerial room where you guys do the check-ins? Are you guys together? Or is it for the separate? most part, yeah, for the most and part. And you're cool with like, it? Don't, don't, it don't bother me. It is what at it is the end of the point. day, ain't nobody beating me. Yeah. That's how, I, that's how I feel, bro. So if you guys want to come to the room and shake it, it don't matter, man. They can see me. They can see me whenever. You see, I, I'm. I don't hide on Instagram. Yeah. You see what I mean? People have seen me from last Olympia to now on Instagram. Talk my shit and I show my body. You get when we get to the Olympia, I'm still talking my shit and I can show my body. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not the one. Oh, he can't see me because man, uh, you get out of here. You finna show up on stage looking just like that. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on, boy. <laughs> Come on, man. We finna, we finna, we finna go crazy at this. Oh, I'm telling. Hey, make sure you there. Hey, no, again. A- hey, make sure y'all get y'all tickets because it's always it's almost halfway sold out. And uh, go to MrOlympia.com. Make sure y'all get y'all tickets. <laughs> you got a promo code? So I, I wish I did. <laughs> uh, Dan Solomon, I need a promo code. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know it's um it's. <laughs> It's, it's going to be a fun show. Just in, I mean, not just men's physique and not just, it's just a, the overall the production. show, the production. And, uh, and it, all these other divisions, too, that, that got some spice in them. I mean, you got open class that got some crazy stuff going on. Classic, who knows what C-Bum and Terrence going to do. Who Like, who knows? You got the Dino kid coming from yep. Brazil who looks phenomenal. I love that uh, kid. Yours. Man. Yours looks crazy. So it's it's a lot of new yeah. new blood, man. That's that's um You got Nick, you got Nick Walker. Nick Walker, you got geez, uh, who do we Hunter talk about? you got yeah. uh, Charles Griffins, which he's one of my favorites he going looks into the O. Insane. Like literally, that's my dog. I just talked to him at, at, at Nationals. I said, Man, you finna definitely be in the mix. You you just look too crazy. Yeah. Then you got uh, the boogeyman. The boogeyman was coming. Um, so it's, it's going to be a real interesting O. Um, the 212, you got either Derek's going to do open or 212. That, you know, I've always liked the 212. Or Sean. Sean, maybe Sean or Keon. Keon. Shout out to Keon. That's my dog, too. He just won the, uh, oh, he the won? Tampa. I think he won the Tampa. Yeah, yeah, let me, let me sure. make sure. I can, <laughs> I make sure let me get my information right because. Uh, I mean, that man looks insane, too. Yeah, though. he looked crazy today, man. He looked crazy. So I'm, I'm, I'm really, really excited about just the O in general. And just and just at the end of the day, bro, my face is gonna be plastered all over Vegas. Like insane to think of. Crazy. Like everyone's like, man, you gotta just wait till you till you go to the the Olympia in Vegas. It's it's big different. I said, why? They were like, well, just wait till you get there. On every elevator, it's gonna be you, you. Brandon and uh Diogo. Or your face here, yeah. your face there. I'm like, wow, it's like that. They said yeah. Aaron, you have no clue what they do for at at a, at the Olympia in Vegas. Oh yeah, if you guys have never been to Olympia, man, it's a it's a production, it's a show. Um, you have the storylines in between every class, yeah. I and mean, obviously you have your storyline. And I mean, Brandon's going for four. You're trying to stop him. You have Chiron right there. You have like yeah. Sadiq coming back. I know Pavin. I don't know if he's trying to get requalified or he was already Olympian, so he don't have to, right? No, he has. To, I think he has to get requalified. He has to get requalified. I think he was qualified last year for his previous Olympia placing because I think the top five came back. Yeah. But now it's top three. So, um, yeah, he, you got, you I got, think he has to requalify. If he gets there, you got Ryan Terry, obviously you're, you're more than enough to put on a poster. You got Seabum, you got Terrence, it goes on and on. So Bro, for, it's, yeah, it's going to yeah. be a production. Plus man, it's man. Vegas, Vegas. I mean, come on. In December though, it hey. is what it is. They say hey. it's going to be a little cold, but 
Hey. It's gonna be hot at whatever club you go to. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> hey, what, what we got? We got bottle service at Dre's. Oh, you already you already made plans or what? Come on, man. You know, you don't think I'm gonna have the biggest party of the year? Oh, I I, on, I know Coach is gonna wild out too. We about to go crazy, and you know, like my main thing is is I I'm a manifester, man, and I manifest things in my dreams. I just I talk about them out loud. I I, I really focus on the positive things that I want in the outcome, you know? So some people may take that as arrogant and cocky of, oh, he's saying he's going to do that. Or again, it goes back to worry about your damn self. You see what I'm saying? I'm over here doing what Aaron Banks is doing. I'm putting in my work. I'm a, I'm, we definitely going to show up. So I love the manifest man. And, and, and like I said, I, I think about things ahead of time. Uh, so yeah, that party in Dr at Dress is gonna be turnt. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be turnt. Um, but just even man, going going forward, man, my main goal is to to kind of change this division and um, give it more of a, a positive light. Yeah. You know, uh, because like I, I've talked to the Dan Solomons, I've talked to the JMs, I've talked to Tyler, Steve. Like my main goal is to change the narrative of how men's physique guys are looked at, you know what I mean? Uh, we've always, well, not we, because I'm fresh in the game. They've always been looked at as divas, right? per se, you know what I mean? Uh, arguing, bickering back and forth, all that, man, that's that's nonsense. That it just needs to stop. We all grown men and doing a hobby sport that now some of us get paid to do. Make so, a living off of. So at the end of the day, it shouldn't it shouldn't be none of that. It should be more of a, a a a real true brotherhood. Like some of these other guys, they talk shit, but they still get along with each other. These guys talk shit, and they they feel feel so much pressure that they gotta continue to talk shit or continue to 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 bash one another. Like it, it's ridiculous, yeah. man. At this point, man, my main goal is, like I said, is to be that men's physique ambassador. And I will be that. And yes, I appointed my damn self because <laughs> obviously nobody else has stepped up to the damn plate to do it. Facts. So here I am. <laughs> and um, yeah, man, going for it, man. I, I just I know I'm going to do some some touring stuff uh, after the O. And then I got to got to get ready and repeat that Arnold. Man. There you go, that pressure of that. But you know what? What I noticed about you, even at the gym, we had a packed out gym today. Yeah. And we had a lot of guys that did uh, the Nationals and a lot of people that drove in to see you yeah you literally stopped and you helped every single one of them absolutely man that's like like you were like they it wasn't like a, a like a dap up like okay cool like you literally stopped no i said show me let yeah. me see yeah yeah you see what i'm yeah. saying you got so, some guys posing in there you got some guys showing them some workouts we had our boy sage up there which is shout yeah. out to ariel's team and you you spent a good 10 15 minutes up there just helping him with his posing yeah, absolutely man you know, so that's the kind of ambassador i feel like the sport needs got to give back because you know? <laughs> who said it i think denzel washington said it the best oh it's gonna be he good said thing. A U-Haul never follows a hearse. You cannot die with this knowledge. You can't, you know what I mean? You don't want to die a, a asshole either. You see what I'm saying? So my my goal in moving forward is to help everybody, especially get to the point to where I'm at. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, giving back is, is big. Um, you, you're not too good for anybody. That That's just plain and simple. Just be a good good person. Don't don't look at look at the book because oh this person is talking shit or he's arrogant. No, go ahead and read some of those those chapters, you know, in that book and kind of get to know this person. But a lot of people don't know that about me, man, but you know, it is what it is. You meet me, then you then you then you have your assessment. Yeah, no, I said that too. I said, "Bro, I only know you from your lives." You <laughs> talk a hell of shit on there. But even just, you know, riding up here with you, talking, shooting the shit with you at the gym, you can tell like like this is you're passionate about this yeah even though you came onto the scene really quick it's not something that you take for granted yeah and i know you're gonna bring it at the o i'm fucking hell of excited i'm excited for it's that gonna be a good one for it's sure. gonna be a good one i mean i'm obviously i'm biased ariel so <laughs> I, I, I that's, that's my dude so yeah. i, I want to see you up there winning it but uh that's something we're definitely looking to make a trip out for absolutely man you you won't you you won't regret that trip and i mean it's and then just like off topic, man, and, and what, uh, like, just talking to these competitors, man, just, I just really want them to understand that 
the, what y'all hear and see from me on Instagram is talking shit. I, I really need y'all to not take it personal and throw shots at me because at the end of the day, it, it, it only fuels me to go even harder and continue to talk my shit because at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's being super competitive. I'm super competitive. I, I'm going to say I'm going to win every show. You know what I mean? That's just how I, I grew up, you know, but some of y'all get to know me before y'all start chirping and doing what y'all doing, man. Cause at the end of the day, y'all doing a little too much right about now. It's a lot of people, huh? It's bad, it's bro. A lot of bro, people. what's crazy? You want to know something? Go ahead. Oh, it's not like we're, uh, uh, I'm going to put this on YouTube or anything. Go ahead, bro. Speak your, speak your, speak your this mind. Is, this is how crazy it got, bro. This is how crazy it's getting too. Bro, my name was in a group chat of multiple, multiple, multiple IBB Pro Man Physique guys. Talking shit about me, bro. How'd you find out about this? I can't tell you that information, <laughs> man. But I know, I know, you yeah. know. It, it, it's funny to me. Yeah. It's funny because, one, I'm flattered. <laughs> like, okay, y'all talking about me? Okay, yeah, yeah. let's go. You're like, put me on here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you guys some of my, my check-ins. <laughs> that part, man. So it, it, that fuels me, you know. But it's just so much, man, that that, that people worry about me so much. It's, it, I don't know. It's like, do y'all not get tired? Like, <laughs> I mean, that just means you're a threat. I, all of us have been told in our life, if people are talking shit about you, they're threatened by you. Because we don't, you know, there ain't some local kid you're like, oh, I fucking hope that guy doesn't do well because you don't know who he is, <laughs> right? You got to make a name for yourself. And at Absolutely. the end of the day, when you step on stage, that's you backing your shit up. Absolutely. And yeah. I've done that, you know what I mean? And <laughs> like I said, I may talk that I'm going to win it. But again, it, it just depends on that day. And... Every day that I've stepped on stage, I was ready. 100%. I mean, I think if I had Brandon here right now, he'd be like, I'm winning it. If I had Kyron on here, which I'm going to have, he's going to say, I'm going to win it. <clears throat> so at that level that you guys are at, no one's going in there thinking, oh, third's going to be solid. Nah, man. They know they're not winning it, though. <laughs> that's that's the funny part. Like, they gonna, they going to talk a good game and say they're winning it. But realistically, <laughs> if they really, like, they really know what direction the sport is going in, they know what's happening. They, they can't be that like blind to not know what's happening it's bro, happening bro i'm gonna be there now hey you want to come hey, me, hey ziggy. show up hey, me, ziggy. hey we hey. might have to bring the podcast to vegas uh, uh you know what actually we we're talking about bringing that to vegas too that would be dope Ooh, i'll get both of you guys liddy then you do a live on, and i'll have man. ariel talking some shit on here <laughs> hey the ratings gonna go up the ratings the views go up. about to be insane but yeah man it's it's just man i i, I know like it, it just, this ain't rocket science, man. It's, it's, it's really not. Like, yeah. who has the best body and who has the most complete body? We don't. We ain't. Aaron Banks has never and will never worry about conditioning ever. We know the coach, right? So the thing is, the chest, that's taken care of. The back, no one would ever touch. So, like, guys, be realistic with yourself <laughs> i'm talking to all the competitors and, and, and i'm and i'm sorry i'm sorry that i got to do this to y'all but better luck in 2030 2030 <laughs> bro it's been amazing you have having you on this podcast hey, man, driving you know driving nice. coming all the way over here like it, it's uh i'm glad i actually got to meet you finally in person i was trying Facts. you know what i mean because now i get to see the kind of person yeah, you are absolutely. and even though you do talk your shit which is dope yeah, man i'm a jokester man you're I, a I, I like to have super humble shit, guy man. so i mean for me i would say for you just whatever you want to say to your audience hey man one thing i do want to say to my audience and to people who are getting into this sport i've, I've met so many young athletes guys take your time we know you want to be a professional athlete in bodybuilding, but bodybuilding is going nowhere. So do not try to speed your process up with taking X, Y, and Z. Just grow your body because I don't even think I told you that. I think I told you, but man, I went pro naturally. Yeah. Like I need you guys to take care of your bodies, get your blood work, reach out to good coaches, get a posing coach. Um, just do everything right because in the beginning I didn't do everything right. I didn't. I, I went to shows just doing true novice. I didn't have the guidance. I didn't have the person to reach out to and be like, "Yo, should I do this? Should I do that?" And there's multiple guys, and I'm saying around the world 
that have reached out to me and was like, E, what should I do? And I, I bro, me, I'm one of those dudes that talk to every single fan. You do? Every fan. And a fan can't tell you I never talked to them, ever. So, again, it's, it's, it's the genuineness and just, man, just being, being that, that ambassador, man, because like I said, I didn't have multiple people to reach out to. To, to guide me in a certain direction. So if you guys need a guidance, if you need someone to talk to, help posing or reach out for coaching, I know I'm not coaching, I'm getting ready for this Olympia, but I will be coaching very soon. Um, reach out and I'm just, I'm just a hand in this game, man. And I'm just excited to bring what, uh, bring, bring what I bring to this division, this, this industry, the charisma, the, the, the competitiveness and just everything, man. It's just everything that I'm going through is is humbling. Everything that I'm, everything is just a big blessing, you know. And um, yeah, man, reach out if you guys need any help. Ask me whatever. I'm an open book. Um, but yeah, man. Well, you fucked up because your DMs about to be <laughs> crazy. Bro, they stay like that, bro. I promise you. Like <laughs> literally on a daily basis, bro. I get to get through probably about four hundred messages. No, that's. I mean, again, on your live, bro. You try to like go back and answer every every fucking, question. But like, you don't just don't jump on live and do your shit. You bro. respond to everyone, and that's. I mean, that's what bro a person in your position. How you think Gary V blew up? Facts. Look at you. Look, you the next Gary V. Hey, <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm trying to be whatever whatever opportunity comes, you know what I mean? And people keep asking, are you going to act? Are you going to If the opportunity presents itself, 1,000%. 1,000%. Oh, after your seventh one, though. After the seventh one. You guys. I heard that. Olympia, December, get your tickets. It's going to be, well, the other classes will be a good show. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Men's physique's on a lock. You're looking at the, at the new. Hey, but, let's get it. But be a part of history, you guys. Absolutely. And new. I appreciate you being on here, Baduck. I appreciate you. All right, you guys. Till next time. Sheesh.